Canada is stepping into a new era of air dominance, one built not on American dependence, but on European engineering brilliance. When Sweden's cutting-edge Gripen E-F fighter jet pairs up with Rolls-Royce propulsion power, it's more than just a hardware upgrade. It's a geopolitical statement. This combination is rewriting what sovereign air power truly means for Canada, especially as tensions rise across the Arctic and the Pacific. The Pentagon isn't just watching, it's worrying. Because this move challenges decades of U.S. monopoly over Allied fighter fleets. Like this video and subscribe to Military Power Play for more in-depth defense analysis. For decades, Canada has relied on American jets, first the CF-18 Hornet, and now a debated F-35 program that's faced constant scrutiny over cost and performance. But 2025 has changed the conversation. With Sweden's Gripen E-F now fully operational and Rolls-Royce expanding its global aero engine partnerships, defense experts are asking, could this be the perfect match for Canada's future fighter needs? This isn't just about buying aircraft. It's about building independence, creating jobs, and redefining the balance of power within NATO. Today, we uncover what really happens when Canada's Gripen E-F meets Rolls-Royce power. For years, Canada's fighter replacement debate has been trapped between politics and performance. The F-35 was chosen in 2022 after a long evaluation, but internal documents show persistent cost concerns and maintenance backlogs. Even today, Canada is re-evaluating how to diversify its fleet. Saab's Gripen E-F offer, 88 jets with full technology transfer and local maintenance, has remained on the table. The appeal? total sovereignty. Every nut, bolt, and software line would be under Canadian control. Now imagine enhancing that offer with Rolls-Royce Propulsion Technology, a company already embedded in Canada's defense ecosystem through maritime and energy projects. That's where the true revolution begins. The Gripen E already uses the reliable GF 414-39E engine. It's powerful, efficient, and proven in both the U.S. Navy's Super Hornet and Saab's latest fighters. But Rolls-Royce brings something extra, engineering autonomy. The British manufacturer has decades of expertise in cold weather turbine performance and sustainment efficiency. A co-production or upgrade partnership between Rolls-Royce and Canadian facilities like Standard Aero or IMP Aerospace would mean Canada could overhaul, maintain, and even upgrade engines domestically no longer dependent on foreign approval to replace a part or software chip. That's why the Pentagon's eyebrows rise. Engine control equals strategic control. The Gripen E-F is often called the smart fighter. Compact, affordable, and network-centric, it's built for nations that can't afford massive logistics tails. Key advantages. Quick turnaround. From landing to takeoff in 10 minutes with minimal ground crew. Dispersed basing operates from highways or remote Arctic strips, perfect for Canadian terrain. Cost efficiency, one-third the operational cost of an F-35. Interoperability, fully NATO compatible from Link 16 to Meteor missiles. When paired with Rolls-Royce level maintenance efficiency and cold weather engine optimization, it becomes a tailor-made Arctic Guardian, agile independent, and reliable in sub-zero environments. The Arctic is now the front line of global competition. Melting ice has opened trade routes, Russian bases in the north are expanding, and both China and the U.S. are racing for influence. For Canada, the question isn't just how to defend its Arctic zone, but with what? Gripen E-F fighters, equipped with Rolls-Royce enhanced cold start systems, could deploy from improvised bases near Nunavut or the Northwest Territories. Their small logistics footprint means they can operate where F-35s can't. A single road section can become a launch strip. A mobile maintenance team can service engines locally. This concept, distributed Arctic air power, gives Canada a unique advantage. Rapid response without relying on massive U.S. infrastructure. If the Gripen Rolls-Royce partnership materializes, it would produce the world's first Arctic-optimized fighter ecosystem blending Swedish design for cold resilience with British propulsion expertise. Defense programs aren't only about military capability, they're about jobs, exports, and technology. 
Saab's offer already promised over $25 billion in direct Canadian industrial participation, including local assembly and maintenance. Add Rolls-Royce into that supply chain, and you've got a domestic aerospace revival. Canadian engineers could co-develop turbine components, digital engine diagnostics, and carbon composite fan blades for global markets. The collaboration could also lead to hybrid propulsion research, connecting military and civilian innovation. This isn't a foreign purchase, it's an economic multiplier. When a Gripen takes off from a Canadian base, it won't just be powered by an imported engine. It'll carry Canadian innovation inside its core. Why would the Pentagon care about Canada buying a European jet? Because control over Allied fleets has always been a cornerstone of U.S. strategy. The F-35 program ties dozens of countries to American maintenance hubs and software locks. Every update, spare part, and mission data file goes through U.S. approval. If Canada, a core NORAD partner, moves to a non-U.S. fighter with independent engine control, it breaks that chain. And that sets a precedent. If Canada can do it, so can others. Norway, Finland, and even smaller NATO allies might explore alternative procurement routes that protect sovereignty. The Gripen Rolls-Royce partnership isn't just a procurement move. It's a strategic rebellion against monopoly. While critics call the Gripen a lightweight, its real-world performance proves otherwise. Brazil, Sweden, and now Ukraine, under emergency evaluation, have all embraced variants of it due to its high uptime rate and modern electronic warfare suite. In simulated NATO red flag exercises, Gripens have recorded kill ratios of 10 to 1 against legacy fighters, thanks to advanced data fusion and passive radar systems. For Canada, those features translate to Arctic defense efficiency and cost predictability. And when powered by Rolls-Royce's engine tech lineage, from the Eurofighter Typhoon to the Tempest program, the Gripen's performance ceiling only grows higher. Few realize Rolls-Royce already plays a quiet but vital role in Canadian defense. It powers the CP-140 Aurora Maritime Patrol aircraft through T-56 engines, supplies engines for Canadian Coast Guard vessels, employs hundreds in its Montreal facility focused on MRO and innovation. This isn't a new partnership, it's an expansion. By aligning with Saab's Gripen project, Rolls-Royce could localize engine upgrade programs, integrating hybrid electric systems, advanced cooling, and even AI-based predictive maintenance. The benefit? Canada's aerospace workforce stays future-ready while the country gains engine independence. Sweden's recent NATO accession changed the strategic map. With Finland and Sweden in the alliance, northern defense coordination is stronger than ever. A Canada-Sweden defense link powered by British propulsion would weave a tri-national thread of industrial synergy, exactly what NATO needs for supply chain resilience. Instead of one country dictating fighter policy, multiple allies would contribute technologies, engines, and data. In a future where conflicts could disrupt global supply routes, that redundancy becomes critical. The Pentagon's fear isn't the gripe in speed, it's the independence it represents. If Canada succeeds, others will follow, reshaping the defense industrial balance within NATO. Let's play out the scenario of 2030. Canada operates two squadrons of Gripen E-FS from bases in Cold Lake and Yellowknife. Each jet is powered by a hybrid-optimized engine, co-maintained by Rolls-Royce and Standard Aero teams. During an Arctic patrol, a Russian Tu-95 Bear bomber enters Canadian airspace. Within minutes, Gripen scramble from a highway strip, engines roaring through minus 40 air, guided by local radar relays. The intercept is clean, communication flawless, and after landing, technicians perform a 20-minute maintenance cycle, all within Canada. No waiting for foreign parts. No clearance delays. That's what sovereignty looks like in action. Saab has offered full tech transfer of the Gripen software and mission systems, a rarity in the defense world. When paired with a Rolls-Royce collaboration, Canada gains a dual axis of independence, control over both avionics and propulsion. That opens doors for future hybrid combat drones, indigenous stealth designs, and even joint participation in Europe's Tempest Future Combat Air System, FCS. In essence, Canada wouldn't just buy jets, it would join the table of designers. 
yet challenges persist. Canada's bureaucratic defense procurement system remains slow. Integrating a new engine partnership requires years of testing and certification. Budget allocations must balance F. 35 contracts already underway. But as economic pressures mount and global politics shift, flexibility becomes strategic currency. In 2025, even U.S. defense analysts acknowledge that diversification is no longer optional, it's survival. And Canada, by choosing innovation over dependency, may quietly set the standard for allied independence. When Canada's Gripen E-F meets Rolls-Royce power, the result is more than a fighter jet. It's a symbol of sovereignty, adaptability, and collaboration. This partnership fuses Swedish innovation, British engineering, and Canadian industry into one self-sustaining defense ecosystem. It challenges the Pentagon's traditional grip on allied procurement and sets a blueprint for the future of NATO cooperation. In a world where control over technology means control over destiny, Canada's Gripe and Rolls-Royce equation proves one thing clearly. True air power isn't about size or stealth. It's about freedom to upgrade, build, and fly on your own terms. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the Gripe and Rolls-Royce revolution, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Military Power Play for more exclusive reports on global defense, air power technology, and military geopolitics. Hit the notification bell so you never miss our next upload. Because in the fast-changing world of warfare, knowledge is the ultimate weapon. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next episode of Military Power Play.